Hey guys, good morning. It's your girl, Miss Debs, coming to you from Deborah's Delicious Dishes Kitchen here in Orange, New Jersey. Giving honor to my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, because he's so worthy to be acknowledged and praised. Wouldn't you agree on this day and any other day? Because like I always say, without God, there could be no me, no you, no us. Quick video this morning. I'm doing a cinnamon toast crunch French toast. I have some Texas toast bread right here. I have eggs. I'm going to use can't believe it's not butter because it's only 60 calories. Trying to do something a little, a little healthy. <laughs> you know, I go back and forward. And I have this cinnamon toast crunch center dust. It's a seasoning blend. I got that from um, Dollar Tree. Not Dollar Tree, um, Dollar General. Okay, and then we're going to put a little Miss Butterworth syrup on the um, toast. Okay, let's get this started quick, fast, and in a hurry. Quick breakfast. Oh, see, okay, so guys, what I wanted to show you, I have the um, cinnamon toast crunch, French toast inside the pan, right? And I just wanted to show you how I, um, I have a little bit in here, and I added some nutmeg to it. And this is the kicker. You have to use creamer instead of milk. It gives it so much a better taste. So I'm using caramel macchiato. So look, I have the toast in here. And I like using cinnamon. Um, I like using uh, Texas toast bread because it's more heavier and it let things hold to it more. So I'm just dripping some of that egg off, some of that batter. We're going to put it right in there. And then I'm getting ready to turn the other ones and I'm going to sit this in there. Guys, don't knock it till you tried it. When you try creamer with it instead of milk, it gives it a totally different flavor. All right, so I'm going to put one more in. Do that look good or what? All right, I'll be right back. So remember, guys, to use a little nutmeg and the cinnamon toast crunch center dust. And I also use the Caramel Marciano um, Creamer. I use that instead of milk. It gives it a more texture. And it's just it just tastes delicious. It tastes nice and sweet. But not overly sweet because you're mixing it with the eggs. And you have your um, seasonings, which is the Cinnamon Toast Crunch Center Dust. And the ground nutmeg. Guys, when you taste this French toast, you'll never go back to making it the way you used to make it. <laughs> Yes, this is totally different, and it's just knocking it out the box. Now tell me this is not one of the best French toasts you have seen. Look at that. Wow, right? They came out great. Cinnamon Toast Crunch French Toast. And the only thing I use, I added another egg. I wanted to tell you guys that. Three eggs, some Caramel Marchiato Creamer, Coffee Creamer, Cinnamon Toast Crunch Center Dust, Nutmeg, and that's it. And the, I uh, can't believe it's not butter, of course. And they came out. Texas Toast makes it look... It makes it look, taste, and come out better because the texture of the bread is not as soft that, you know, rip all up. All right, guys. And guess what? I have some cinnamon bun coffee to go along with it. <laughs> right there. Let me see. Yeah, it's cinnamon bun. Yes. The yellow one. Yep. Okay, guys. I hope you enjoyed this quick video. It's a nice little thing to do for breakfast for your family. No meat, no eggs, no potatoes, no cheese, just cinnamon toast, French toast. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Have a great day. God bless you. Thank you for joining Ms. Deb's Dishes. Thanks for joining Deborah's Delicious Dishes Kitchen. God bless. Guys, you didn't think I was going to leave you in the dust without showing you how it looked in the inside, right? Okay. I just cut a piece. I'm going to let you see the inside of it. 
Look at that. Oh my goodness. You see that? Let me get my shadow out the way. Look at that. Put a little syrup on it. And I'll let you know how it tastes. Oh my goodness. Mmm! That cinnamon. You could taste a bit of that nutmeg. And you could taste that caramel from the caramel macchiato. Look at that. Thank you guys for joining me. Excuse me for talking with food in my mouth. Thank you, Father God, for that food. God bless you. I hope you try this recipe. Not recipe nice, simple, and easy.